All right. Hello guys, welcome to the YouTube video section of my live stream. Um, we found a brand new fix to do with the steering wheel configuration. So I've done two fixes now. One that got rid of the original controller broken, not bro controller not responding, not detected pop up, which we found a fix. There was loads of new fixes found on top of that. That was found by loads of other community members as well. But we found the first false feedback fix. Um, using the false feedback fix, uh, we found that you can't actually not operate the menu. We found a way to actually get it to work in the menus now. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to do that. If you follow the other videos, make sure you follow them to the T. We're going to go through the steps really quickly again. So you make sure you guys can download it all. Okay. If you just quickly go on Google and type in, so I'll be doing some FOV stuff. So if you type in um, VJoy, you'll be prompt with a sourceforge.net website. If you download a copy of this, install it. Like I said in the last video, guys, if he does get to 100% installation and it doesn't, it just stops there. Just honestly, go to Task Manager and kill it. Um, if it asks you to restart your PC, most cases you can ignore it. Um, some people do it anyway. If you want to do it anyway, go ahead. Buy a chance to do it. You don't need to though. Um, click on configuration to so configure VJoy when it's popped up, and it will look something like this. In your case, yours is me on. I've just turned it off for demonstration purposes. Um, but at the top, your button layout will say eight. Make sure you change it to 128. The POV hat switch, change it to four, uh, four directions. And POV S, change that to one. Click apply. You hear little turn on and turn off. That's the VJoy stuff up to date now, unoperated. As you can see, I know a lot of tutorials out there were suggesting turn off G Hub. Keep your G Hub on. I've got the G923 here, as you can see here. I'm currently using my racing operating um, systems. So my operating range is 360 currently. My sensitivity is kind of low. And my center spring does make a difference because I've got the center spring in non-force feedback games turned off. Make sure that's off if you want force feedback in your games, as well as some haptic stuff as well. Uh, so while you're driving, you can feel, you know, you move, it gets tight, like it kind of is now, because I haven't got the, the new systems on yet. Um, but make sure you have that on so you can feel all the vibrations every rock and because I've got a true force supported wheel as well Make sure you got apply settings from the game So you have all the natural physics that falls is trying to give us. So once it's all done um, You need to then download forge emu wheel. You can actually google forge emu wheel and Install that from the weeby link go over here on the right download and um, download it. It comes in a zip file, a ZIP file, sometimes a seven zip file, but most cases seven as a ZIP file. You want to extract that to some way where you're going to know because you're going to use it quite often. I just have mine in your downloads folder. Some people put it on the desktop, put it everywhere. You guys feel happy to. And then once you've done that, you will get the, you'll get these files. Click on the configurator and click all of these settings. And what I mean by that, I do literally mean all of them. So click steering, click set, steer your steering wheel. It will now populate with X. Throttle, use your throttle. Uh, that's okay. Do that again. Use my throttle. Do it again. Use this Y. Brake, same thing. Clutch, same thing. When you have the D-pad, click on set. Use any D-pad you guys have. Some people have different wheels. I know on the Thrustmaster 6, you have the little switch thing. That is your D-pad. I know it looks like a switch, but that's just how they designed it. So do that. And then you want to set up all of the buttons. So for A for A, B for B, and so forth and so forth. We're not actually going to be using this, but this is so we can trick Forza into allowing us to actually use um, the menus. So now that's done, if I just load my config in my, what well, you need to do, once you've set yours, guys, I'm just going to show you guys what my config looks like when it's all done, when it's all populated, it should look something like this, which is pretty much all of my buttons all mapped. Click on save configuration and it will make a config.json file inside a folder. Once that's done, you're good to go and ready to start Forza up soon. So what you want to do is you just want to turn on Forza MUL. In the last tutorial, we had you guys turn on hush and there's a reason for that. But I'll show you why. I'll show you why you're gonna need hush first and then why you're not gonna need it later on. So you wanna turn on the emu wheel, like that. It will say emu wheel is running. You don't wanna turn on hush. So you wanna turn on hush, mute. This is exactly the same. So at this point, this is exactly the same as the other video, but then I'm gonna show you guys how to actually get the UI working now. So load up Forza. I'm loading it from Steam. You, this should work as well if you got this from Microsoft. Uh, I'm not 
sure exactly what you do if there's having this controller issues with sorry steering issues with like say xbox one or ps5 uh i don't have either so i could even give i couldn't even tell you the first place to start and troubleshooting those software but be aware guys in upcoming weeks they are making fixes for the steering for the controllers they have announced it now that they are looking at fixes for this fixes that i haven't made of course fixes that are going to be working without any of this requiring systems so once you're in here, wait for this to finish. All right, click on accessibility, click on will. So click on control, click on change input mapping, click on will. For some users, this is blank. If it is blank to fix this, you press keyboard. A pop-up will come up saying, would you like to save profile? Click no, click on wheel again, and then it will look like this and it will have all the wheel stuff here, but none of it will actually be filled. When it is filled, I have mine on two. It will look like this. You gotta go one by one, click on this. Sorry, click on that, click on accelerate and do it for every bit of it. So brake, use the brake and do all of that. Once that is all done, you want to save it. Make sure you also get everyone that has the green little bars because on basically over here, is that if I delete this bit, I don't think I can, I don't want to do the whole profile. But basically, if you delete, um, so if you haven't taken this, these will, there'll be a little green thing here since required. Make sure all those are done. And if you've got any extra buttons, then you can have all the other stuff. Um, so when that's all done, you want to save it. Okay. And then you want to close Forza. Okay. I know, weird, right? We closed it. Now you want to unmute Forza and close Hush but leave MU will run in the background. MU will is gonna trick the system to use the force feedback, connect it and pipe it directly to your wheel, but then you can use the normal stuff to use the menus. So now if we go to Forza now with MU unmuted, we jump back into Forza now. Give it a second. And now we can use the menus. And because we've got VJoy installed and running, we won't get the pop-up or controller disconnected. And with MU Will working in the background with a set profile for MU Will, it will allow force feedback to work for it because you can inter-swap devices and you won't get the double glitch because we're gonna force it to use the new one and not the MU Will one. Okay, so now accessibility. Controls, change input mapping, go to wheel, and you see it's automatically picked up the Logitech. I can still pick the custom profile for the other one, but we are going to use the Logitech one. So now I can save that. It should have been saved automatically. And now we can jump into the game. And I'll prove, I know I just use that with keyboard and mouse, but I'll show you when we get to the menu that I can just use the, the buttons now. And it work. A second. I will be in a but in a minute, buddy. They really need to fix this loan time. This is like GTA loan time. <laughs> it's like why does it take so long? A lot of parts. Oh, you guys can't see it because I'm in the way. Anytime now. Okay, let me mute it for a second because of copyright. Actually, there's no music yet. Okay. Now I can use the D-pad to move around. You can see at the bottom now, it says, if I hide myself just for a moment, you can see it says one, two, and eight, which is just the normal buttons for key mapping. So now I can press B. Welcome back, Benjamin. I can move around all of this using my D-pad. I can use my bumper buttons. You can see at the top it says LB and RB. As it is set up now. So I'm gonna press back again. 
Let's get into game. Okay. As you can see, I can drive. Off road. And there is force feedback. I don't see my wheel, but my wheel is moving. Force feedback now. And yeah. There you go. So that's a new fix now. <laughs> We're now all free fixed. So now you can play the game with force feedback. As well as vibrations. Rumble. Absolutely everything now. So guys, you know what you gotta do. If this has worked for you, share it. Tell your friends about it. Support the channel in any way you want to. But this is working. And if I really wanted to experience force feedback, just to show you guys as well. Go to advanced settings, go all the way down to the road field, make that on max, make that on max, make these on max. And now it's gonna vibrate like crazy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's going mental. It's going it's going mental. <laughs> I hope this has worked for you guys. Any issues, you guys know exactly what to do. Join the Discord. We've got a massive team of moderators who are quite happy to help you guys with fixes and all this lovely stuff. If it's worth for you, don't forget to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Support the community. Take care, people.